y'all. This is the Oklahoma Grammy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to make you two different things. I'm going to make you some easy enchiladas, which is very, very easy to make. And I'm going to make my southern style peach cobbler. This is the recipe. So with my enchiladas, what I did is I made two and a half pounds of ground beef. I took salt and pepper and two handfuls of shredded cheese. Now you can use any kind of cheese you want. Um, I use mild cheddar because that's what my family likes. Um, what I did is I cooked it and I put, uh, like I said, I put salt and pepper in it to taste and you use um, a jar of chopped dehydrated onions and you probably want to put maybe um, a half a cup in there because they're so small. Let it cook, drain it real good. Um, I've had this setting in my ice box for two days. It's fine. I just put it on the top shelf with a lid on it and that's very important that way it don't dry out. I got it out. You do not reheat it. Uh, what you're also going to do after you do this, you're going to put one can of enchilada sauce. Now, this is a 29 ounce can. It could be mild, it could be medium, or it could be hot. It's just your preference and your family's preference. We like meat, we like the mild, so that's what I use. You're going to use a nine by 13 pan, which two and a half pounds is going to make you three pans of this. Don't get scared. It's going to, you're going to put six of the large tortillas that you get from Walmart or wherever, and you're going to spray your pan with a non-stick spray. That's very important. That way it doesn't stick. Now remember, you don't have to put any more sauce in here at this time because you've already got it in your pan. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, take one, we're going to fill it up down the middle, and we're going to roll it up. Oops, sorry about that. My counter is clean, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to scoot this over a little bit closer. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you can put as much or as little meat in the middle of it. You can also use shredded meat. You could use chicken if you prefer. Just grab it and roll it. Okay. And you're going to continue this. You're going to get six of these. You're going to take and put sauce over the top of them and you're going to take and put cheese over the top of that. Let me put this one over here. There's two pans that I've already got made and this is what it's going to look like once you get done. Now you're going to put these in the oven at 375 for 20 minutes. They will be done. They will be heated throughout and they're going to be very very delicious it's easy it's simple and it can save you a lot of time if you have been busy with your family my family today is out they're sports players so uh, all the kids are playing sports mom and dad's with them and so it's just me and a couple of my grown kids that are here and a couple of the smaller babies uh, oops hold on just a minute no no baby you can't touch that Come here, come here, come here to Grammy. You want to see? Oh, he okay. You might, you might see him running around in a minute. This is my three-year-old grandbaby. Hold on, just a second. So I had to take care of my grandbaby. I'm sorry about that. He's my special needs. He's got autism. So I hope that y'all understand. Um, over here, I'm gonna make the peach cobbler. And what this is right here is you got two cans of 29 ounce uh, canned peaches. You're going to take one whole can with the juice in it, pour it in the pan. Then you're gonna take the other can and you're going to dump all of the juice out. Now you can save it that way, you can drink it for later or whatever. Um, take the other can that has been drained, put it in here. You're gonna take a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar. You're gonna take five tablespoons of melted butter and you're going to put that in there two and a half teaspoons of lemon juice and two teaspoons of vanilla extract you're going to take a wooden spoon and gently stir that up 
Okay, after that, we're going to take our other mixture, which is our dry mixture. You're going to two cups of baking, I mean, yeah, two cup, two teaspoons of baking powder, two cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, a pinch of nutmeg, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one cup of melted butter. Okay, uh, you're going to preheat your oven. It says 400. My oven cooks at 375, and it, it comes out really good. I leave it in for 30 minutes instead of the 20 minutes like I'm going to do the enchiladas. So what we do here is we're going to take this spoon and we're going to just sprinkle it. You don't want to pat it down or nothing yet. You want to make sure you get it all the way over to the edges of this. I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can. I have to get it in the oven before my grandbaby cries again. You don't want to stir that, you don't want to stir the dry ingredients into this. it all over. You want to make sure you coat this really, really good. And one of the things you want to do whenever you put your pieces in the pan, you want to take and uh, make sure you spread them out. That way, every, every bite that you get of the peach cobbler has peaches in it. Try not to, you know, uh, pile them up all in one spot. Make sure you spread them out throughout the pan. You're going to use all of this for the top. This will go into the cobbler, and that's what you want. Try to get it as even as you can. You will see while I'm doing this that you will see some of the juice come through, which is what you want. Just keep putting it around. If you got some little divots, try to, you know, put some of it in there. Basically, it's just like a cake. You're trying to seal it, a pie of cake. Okay, after this, try to get it all in there. What we're going to do is my melted margarine here. You could either use margarine or butter. It's up to you. And you just want to go around with it. You want to just sprinkle it. It doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. It's all going to cook. That juice is going to bubble up and it's going to help seal it. I promise you it's going to taste delicious. I did this a couple of weeks ago on my Facebook page. Uh, a lot of people was really, really wanted to know what the recipe was, and I told them, I said, well, I said, you need to look at my YouTube page. I said, the Oklahoma Grammy, and I said, you will learn how to do it. Well, you know, life happens, and sometimes I can't do what I want to do when I want to do it, like everybody else, so we just have to take our time and I'm getting to do it today while everybody is out. You can hear my little two-year-old grandbaby. No, no, baby. Okay. Now, 
I've got that done. So I'm going to put all four pans in the oven and I'll be back in a few minutes. Y'all, this is what it looks like after it is completely ready and it's served up. This is the peach cobbler. Y'all, if you like my video, can you do me a big favor? If you haven't liked the video, please like it for me. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. And if you really like the video, please share it out for others to see. Until next time, thank you so much for watching the Oklahoma Grammy. Bye.